uh, Mac, did you guys see the message Ripa sent Ethan Van Scriver? Yeah, I did kind of see that. Uh, Eric July like sent a message saying like, why aren't you like? Uh, so he sent to Ethan Van Shriver. Shriver, he's our fan, the, the, the comic guy. Yeah, that's our he, fan. He's Ethan Van Scriver. He's, he's a cool dude. Uh, yeah, um, he um. He was saying, I don't know, he was basically implying that like he, mm -hmm. he wasn't having his back good enough or whatever. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. gay. So this is the message that I... Okay, so hold on. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. This, I, I actually have, I, I don't know who's... This is a... Here we go. Ethan rules, by the way. He's a cool dude. He's messaged us. He's a fan of the show. He's actually a really nice guy. He's a guy. great dude. We're, we've been working on getting him on, but... Received. This is a tweet out of nowhere. And uh, tweets from Eric, they don't come very often. I don't ask for him. I, I never tweet him. He tweets me. So it says, I'm going to be 100 with you and not be public about this. You going out of your way to play the middle of the road publicly with a dude, referring to Vito, that has gone out of his way to work overtime to publicly defame is whack. Uh, it's even weaker that you lend credence to their narrative, meaning their criticism. I'm supposed to just go, their criticism was invalid because it was in bad faith. I, I'm not doing that. He says, I treat you like I do anybody else in this space. That's weird. I'm Ethan Van Skyver. Perhaps you should be treating me differently than everybody else in this space. I'm somebody who's been doing comics for 30 fucking years. He actually has, though. I was nominated for an Eisner. You sitting there telling me that I'm receiving equal treatment to your fans is interesting <laughs> uh and i do not use my platform to amplify narratives that go uh, against others i'm cool with everybody i do maybe now's a good time to get him on who shows streams with knows not to bring up gripes with people i'm cool with this i will not give it the time of day he says i'm gonna start reciprocating on that what i don't does that know mean is that a threat what yeah. you're talking about it does feel like a little implied right yeah i don't know what you're talking about To me, I hear this. He goes, if you want to chat about it, you're free to call. So we did. We got on the phone. To me, I received this as stop criticizing me in public uh, or I'm going to uh, basically I'm going to unleash influencers who want to go at you. I'm going to tell them they can go ahead and go at you. He really is acting like a mob boss, huh? Yeah. It's, Eric it's, Eric thinks he's a mob a, boss, huh? He fancies himself a, a, a brilliant writer, a tough guy. Uh, and also a legal expert. He wears a lot of hats. They're all dunce caps. Yeah, D yeah. Dunce caps of various different colors. But He wears a lot of hats. None of the bills are bent, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking buffoon. Yeah, he really is a... He's, dude, Eric... It was a threat. Eric July destroyed his entire business. Ethan has forgotten more about comics than Eric will ever know. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really fucking insane to me, right? Yeah, this guy worked on mainstream yeah. shit. For years. He made good comics. Green Lantern. I remember reading Green Lantern was really good. Like, yeah, what are you talking about? It was just a threat. Uh, it was a, a, a nicely, carefully worded threat. It was Green Lantern, right? I'm pretty sure because that's what it yes. was his. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I sat on this. I called him. I talked to him. I said, this is a threat, Eric. You're threatening me. He goes, uh, threaten. I go, you know where I'm from? I'm not stupid. This is a threat. You're basically telling me that if I don't shut my mouth... Uh, you're going to allow your friends who are in high places, who are influencers on YouTube. To by the way, we give a shit about them. By the way. Let's be clear about that. We don't care about these faggots. So attack me. That's what you're saying here. And he was like, I said, Eric, I, I, I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you about all this stuff. We got to be able to talk about this stuff. You and I, uh, you know, I mean, I, I give you I give you advice and you just, you know, basically don't listen you may it's a mistake not to listen i'm giving you decent advice it's leading you down a path where it's making your life more and more difficult and uh you know uh he said you know he said you know what ethan he said uh uh you think you're more important to indie comics than you actually are the guy who and started he, comics gate what did he really say that to him yeah to the guy who started comics gate he choked on the last word and kind of pulled it back. Is he so fucking retarded? There's a whole fucking shitload yeah. of resentment yes, underneath yes. the surface of this uh, that I've just kind of tapped into.
Uh, Eric seems like a nervous wreck. Good, he's getting sued by ISIL. And then that tweet came out that he did know about the Christian ministry. You saw that? That he said, I yeah, never heard about tweet. it, but there was a tweet where he did know about it. I'll snag it. So I talked to him and I said, I understand why me disagreeing with you publicly uh, might cause you stress. And I will try not to do that, but don't threaten me like this ever again. And he smiled and went, okay, we're oh. cool. Well, and all he had to do was say, all Eric had to do was say nothing. Eric is burning his fucking business to the ground and i don't understand so i sat with this for since well that was august when he got the message august 11th until now and i thought about what a coward i am uh for not immediately exposing this for not immediately sharing this gets props for gets props now though for at least going like i was kind of, calling yourself out always on points with me you're like i was wrong i should have fucking done something earlier mm -hmm. i should have done it right away not because I'm mad at Eric or anything like this, but this isn't cool. Like, is he doing this to other people? Yes. 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 He He's getting list. accounts. To, yes, of course. Of course. He's Steve Buscemi crossing names off his list. By the way, everybody just keeps talking about his outfit. He's a fucking, he's a lifelong comic book guy. He's, yeah. Like, what do you expect him to be dressed like fucking Sean Connery's 007? Yeah. Like, what? what? <laughs> and a Phillies fan. Yeah, I mean, because you... everybody seems to be afraid to like read the comic and criticize it or offer genuine criticism. Everybody seems afraid. They're that's afraid. Not what comics gate is. You know, that's not what comics gate's supposed to be. It's like people are supposed to be making comics and having. It's like, man, this wasn't so good. Yeah, apparently he went on Rakeda show too after this. No, oh, okay. Um, I mean, I, look, I like him, but it's oh yeah, you could tell one of the donations. No comment from Rakeda. <laughs> 